What's up everyone, welcome back. Thanks for joining me, I know it's been a minute. It's so hard for me to figure out what kind of makeup looks to do, so I just figured if I have to go somewhere and I have to do a makeup look, I'm just gonna film it. So today I'm actually going to a wedding. I'm going to my cousin's wedding, so I decided to do a guest of wedding makeup look. What's important with this look is just making sure that it shows up on camera. Obviously, we're gonna be taking lots of pictures, that it lasts all night through lighting, sweat, everything. So just stick around to see how I created this look. So actually good news for my channel. For those of you who've been watching for a long time, I actually just ordered a second camera that I'm gonna have fixed right there in the corner. So beginning next week when I start shooting more tutorials, I will actually zoom in for everyone that's been asking for years and years for me to zoom in on my eyes when I'm doing the makeup. I have a second camera coming and I'm finally going to start doing that. So to prep my skin, I'm gonna use the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. This is actually a brand new limited edition bottle, same formula. And actually before I did any of this, I used uh, the Summer Fridays Overtime Mask. It's just really good for exfoliating, especially when you're doing heavier makeup, a little bit more caked on. You really want like a very smooth, moisturized surface to work with. So that really just gets everything, every you know, all the dead skin off and makes my skin really smooth and glowing. Next up, I'm going in with the YSL Touche Club Blur Primer. If anyone saw my Instagram video on this, I love this stuff. All right, on to the foundation. Of course, pictures are very important for a night like this, but personally, I've never been a fan of like matte foundations. It just never worked great for me. There's a select few I've liked, but I still always prefer something glowy, so I'm going in with one of my favorites, the Dior Forever Skin Glow. The 4WO is actually perfect for my complexion. I just wanna add a dot of the 4W just cause I'm gonna be like glowed up and tan tonight. So just a little bit of this. And then just mix that up with my finger and start, what is this? <laughs> oh no, I just noticed this. So I colored my grays at home and there's like a huge streak of it on my face. Well, I'm just gonna have to cover that. I thought it was just my hair. I tried to brush it behind my ears. So with my Smashbox brush, this is the Stippling Foundation. I'm just going to buff this into my skin. Oh crap, it's not covering. <laughs> Whatever, my hair is gonna be down, it'll cover it. You will not see it. Next up for my concealer, obviously very important step for a night like this. I'm using the LC Complete Remedy Silk Concealer. The color is medium tan. And for this, I'm actually gonna use a concealer brush to apply it. Really nice, good coverage uh, concealer. And you know, because it's a wedding, because there's gonna be photos, I'm kind of really going for it with concealer. All right, so going in with my favorite concealer brush, this is again by Smashbox, the Cream Cheek. This is the ideal type of brush for blending out concealer because it's, it's basically like a kabuki brush. It's very densely packed. So really good for that airbrush finish. Personally, this is my favorite part of seeing the makeup come together, the minute that concealer goes on, you really start to see how it's all looking. All right, so plenty of brightening down the center of the face, so now we're gonna do some receding with uh, some contour. I'm gonna use the Contour Wand by Charlotte Tilbury. This is probably my favorite contour product right now. The color that I'm using is the medium dark. I also have the fair medium, which usually works really well, but since I'm going a little darker today, we're gonna go with this one. Via the jowls. Back to the foundation brush. I'm just gonna use the same one to blend this out. So what I like to do first is kind of just blur out the, um, the contour. Not blend it completely just yet. I know that sounds strange, but I kind of want that shape to set first. So I'm kind of just leaving the line, like I said. 
just for a couple seconds while I, you know, blend out the rest of it. It kind of just leaves a little trace of that line behind so you get a really nice sharp contour. Clearly different from what I normally do with makeup. It's not that natural, but again, for photos, for special occasion, it works. So now I'm just gonna blend that out a little more. So you see, you just kind of see a, a hint of that line left behind where you wouldn't really get it if you just blended it all the way out in the beginning. It's just kind of a little trick I've been using lately. All right, we're in good shape. We've got a nice highlight and contour going. So from here on out, I'm gonna start using all the powders. I definitely wanna set this. So I'm gonna go in with the um, Perfect Setting Powder by Cover FX. This has been, I mean, if you watch my videos, it's been one of my favorites. So I'm taking kind of a good amount of this stuff and I'm just gonna, this is nothing you haven't seen before. I just don't do it often. <laughs> So what I just did is I tapped the brush so that I get the excess off and then use whatever's left to just lightly set the rest of your face. So I'm just gonna let that sit for a second while I go into a little bit of, a little more contour and a cheek color. So I'm using the Smashbox um, Buildable Cheek Brush. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Palette. I'm gonna start with the contour shade. Just adding a little more depth, a little more warmth. We already have plenty, but just for pictures, sometimes you'll notice, this is why I like to start with a darker foundation to begin with. You'll do your makeup, you'll look great in the mirror, and then you go to take pictures and you look like a ghost. Make sure, make sure you're not starting with a white base and then trying to warm, over, warm up over it. You really should, should start off with a, probably like, half a shade to one shade darker than your complexion so that you can do all of this, all of this lightening in the middle. So that's what pops in the pictures. That's what looks light. You want the rest of your face, the perimeter, the contours to really look, you know, darker. So now same brush. I really am just using the same brush for all of this. It looks fine. I'm gonna go into this cheek color. Lately, this has been the only palette I use for my full face. Once I get the, you know, the foundation, the concealer on, it always looks beautiful no matter what kind of look I'm doing. See that cheek color is so nice. So now I'm going back to that setting powder brush and I'm just going to wipe away all of this. So this is gonna keep my under eyes in good shape all night. So now again with this brush, I'm just gonna kind of blend these two highlights a little bit more of this one actually and go in there and just bam. Ugh, so pretty. I love this palette. It's really such a good kind of all in one for the face. All right, so moving on to the eyes. So I did my mom's makeup this morning and I loved how it turned out. It looked so good. So I'm basically trying to do the same thing to me. Um, I used this palette by KKW. It's um, it just says KKW eyeshadow palette. There's no other name on it. I think it might've been one of the first ones. Anyway, I'll call out the names as I'm applying. So beginning with a blending brush, I'm gonna go in with this color right here. And this is called Calabasas, right? Yeah, nope. Florence, it's called Florence. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know if it's flipped or if it's behind the pan. I think it's Florence, yeah. So this, I'm just gonna work right into my brow bone and actually above the brow bone because this is just gonna help me blend up with the other colors. Really good, super soft, neutral transition shade. And actually this is, depending on what your style is as a bride, this could potentially be bridal makeup too if you were doing your own makeup. All right, next up, same brush. I'm going to use this shade right here. It's like a dusty rose and it's called Selfish. So this I'm kind of just working a little bit into the lid, but also still in the crease. So I'm just starting at the outer corner of my lid 
and just blending inward. So I'm mixing these two shimmer shades with my finger, this one right here and this. And those two colors are North and Chicago, I'm pretty sure. So with this, I'm just going to pop that right into the center of my lid and then blend out. So now going in with a more kind of concentrated brush, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's like a matte brick. And the color is Family. So this is gonna be our contour shade. This is really gonna define the crease. So again, really just starting at that outer corner and then windshield wiper your way across the crease to really just deepen that color. So the darker the shades start to get, the less area we're covering. Just remember that with basically any makeup look. So then now with that same brush, I'm gonna go into this deepest shade right here not taking very much, and that is Gemini. We're doing the same thing, but just a little bit less. Like I'm not putting as much on. All we're really doing with this is adding a contour to the lids. And you know, my lids are deep, deep set, so it's harder to get a nice, kind of like uniform, perfect blend. I feel like you can get that much more with like a mono lid. And again, every time you add a dark shade, just make sure you're going back and blending. And again, same thing, using just the very tip of this brush to add the dark shade across the crease. We're really just focusing it on that outer corner. So before I hit the bottom lash line, I actually wanna go right into the liner. I'm gonna use a brown and a black liner because like I said, for weddings, I just like a softer look even though we're going a little more dramatic. Uh, so the blending of the brown and the black is just gonna make it appear a little softer, not so harsh. So I'm taking the Persona um, 24 hour lip, uh, lip <laughs> eyeliner in brown. So this, I'm gonna focus most of it on this outer corner here just kind of messy, just rubbing it in there and then using a smudge brush to shape it up and smudge it out. Okay, so now that we have the brown liner on, I'm gonna go in with black. This is Obsidian by Hourglass, the 1.5 millimeter pencil, my probably all time favorite black pencil. So this, I'm gonna just go right at the just right at the lash line. This is a very soft and blendable black. Really nice option, like I said, for weddings. One more time, I'm gonna go into North and Saint. Just Pop that over the liner, and then it's gonna make a nice mix, actually, the liner and the shadow. This look is all about just like a really soft blend. Hardly ever do this, but because it's a wedding look, I'm gonna take a little brush and dip into, I think we're talking about Saint here. And I'm gonna pop that right at the inner corner for that highlight. This is like kind of old school wedding look style, but it's so pretty, <laughs> it looks really good. All right, so now we can actually go down to the bottom lash line. With that same brush, I'm gonna dip into North, and I'm just gonna run that along my bottom lash line. I'm literally gonna show up to this wedding with the same makeup as my mom. 
like every step I did exactly like I did hers this morning. All right, I think we're in good shape now. So one more time with that hourglass pencil, the black. I'm gonna run this just along the inner part of my top lash line. I don't think I'll run it down the bottom, but in the end, I'll just take a look and see if it needs it. All right, I think we're ready to move on to mascara and lashes. So I'm gonna use the Dior Pump and Volume Mascara. Love this one. Close your mouth. <laughs> Honestly, this could easily be a bridal look. So I am gonna add some lashes. I'm gonna go with the Demi Wispies by Ardell. But you know, I always cut them, so. And I typically cut them at the longer end. So I'm just gonna take this strip here. And I'm just gonna snip off this little bit here. And for lash glue, it's always been my favorite, the Duo Dark Tone. Just gonna lower that onto my lash line. And I don't ever apply the glue directly from the tube. I always just use the end of a of a brush. So again, kind of looking down, just lower that onto your lash line. The more you do this, obviously I haven't done this in a long time. The more you do this, the more second nature it becomes, the easier it becomes. You know, for not having done this in a while, <laughs> that was far less problematic than I expected. All right, now going in with the Maybelline Brow Precise Micro Pencil. I'm gonna do some filling because you know I like some dramatic brows. And you know, brows, like my brows right now are pretty sparse. I think depending on the season, they shed a little or a lot. Like right now I'm in the middle of like a pretty intense shedding season. So I'm just going to draw them back in. All right, that looks good. So now I'm just gonna set my brows with my favorite, I don't think they make this anymore, I think. I think they discontinued it, but it's the Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer by Maybelline. I'm using like the last little bits of this tube. And finally, for the lips. So I have this combination that I really like right now. This is the KKW Liner in Nude 2.5. So I'm not really lining my lips with this, I'm just kind of contouring for a little bit of, you know what, let me just, just use a little bit of this lip. I love this. I was actually supposed to put this on my eyes in the beginning. It's an eye and a lip. So this section is for the eyes and this section is for the lips. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on because they're extra dry. So yeah, like I said, I don't really line line with this. I'm more contouring for a little more fullness. because this side is skinnier than this side too. So now using Hepburn Honey by Charlotte Tilbury, really gorgeous color. It's like a honey nude. I'm just gonna go in and apply this directly. And then using a liner brush, lip liner brush, I'm just gonna blend the liner So that's it for this look. Like I said, guest of wedding look, could be a bridal look if you wanted it to be, but just a nice, pretty, neutral blush tone look. Hope you guys liked it, and of course I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.